what we've done is we've created from the Excel template a document that looks at two coders who coded 15 conversations. So I'm going to open up SPSS. I'm going to double click on new data set. I'm going to go to the folder icon in the menu bar and click on it. I'm going to change the files of type to Excel. I already had this set to desktop, but if I didn't, I would locate the file, which in my case is on the desktop, and I would select that Excel file that I had entered the data into, and I would click Open. So after I've selected the file, it is it reads it, it imports it in, and you want to make sure that these buttons are checked and these are not. Then I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to go up to Analyze. I'm going to go down to Scale, and I'll click on Reliability Analysis. I'm going to go through all of the different codes, but I'll start with giving information and I have data for coder 1 and coder 2, so I'm selecting on a Mac it's command click and then I'm going to bring them over into the items I'm analyzing by clicking on this button. Then I'm going to click on statistics and right now these are set the, as how I want them. I'm also going to make sure that the intra-class correlation coefficient is selected. And you can leave these as two-way mixed and consistency. Then I'm going to click continue. Now I'm going to click OK. And the number I'm looking at to determine if I have excellent ICC is this second row in the interclass correlation coefficient table. Then I'm going to save this file. It doesn't matter what you call it. And click Save. I'm now going to move to the second code, which is questions. I'm going to go up to analyze, back to scale and reliability analysis. I'm going to remove these two, and I'm going to command click to I could select them one at a time, or both with the command click for, for Mac, and then click this arrow. I'm going to go back into statistics to make sure that the interclass correlation coefficient is selected and that the selections remain as they were the first time, and I'll click Continue. And then I'll click OK. I'll scroll down to the bottom and observe my intra-class correlation coefficient for average measures for the variable questions. And you'll continue to do that for each of the different codes and you're aiming for an excellent level of reliability between you and the other coder. And then I'll click Save at the end. Thank you.